For lab number two, you'll be practicing nomenclature, whether it is naming ion symbols or naming chemical symbols or naming chemical formulas, writing chemical formulas, whether they are ionic in nature or covalent in nature. You will have a lot of practice utilizing this spreadsheet as well as doing the pre-lab and post-lab questions for your lab report. So this Excel spreadsheet is available on Blackboard for you to do, particularly for my class that has Labor Day off. You're still required to do this and submit your lab report because you can do this in the comfort of your own home. Or if you are coming into the lab, you can do this in the lab as well. So once you open up this Excel spreadsheet, um, you're allowed to have 10 different exercises. Now, a lot of students, when they come to the lab and open this up, they may get an error. It has to do with macros. So if you see a error symbol or a command somewhere located here, it has to do with macros. So you want to do enable editing and content so that it unlocks this spreadsheet. Once you've done that, again, that occurs for some instances for some um, individuals uh, in the lab. But once that has occurred, you're ready to actually uh, perform the functions in this spreadsheet. First of all, let me just tell you what's, um, what this consists of. There are 10 exercises here. So they're actually shown here at the bottom. These are called tabs. Okay. Or you can go to main and I can click on ion symbols and it will take me to tab one or exercise one. I can go back to main and click on ion compound names and it will highlight exercise four or tab four. So you can go to your exercises by clicking here or by going to the main menu. So the purpose of this experiment is to answer five of five correct answers for each of these tabs, for each of these types of exercises. So if I go to exercise one, okay, I can answer the question. Now, the way you put this in is you're not going to put in subscripts as subscripts or superscripts as superscripts as you would do for normal chemistry. Uh, it's just uh, the nature of the program. However, it will correct itself uh, when you put in the formula properly. So, for example, CR207-2 is how you will input it into the box. But that actually, as you know from class, the real formula is CR207-2 with the 2 and the 7 as a subscript and the minus 2 as a superscript. So the first question is, what is the chemical symbol for the ion of hypoiodite? Well, you should know what it is, but just in case you may have forgot, you can click on either list of ions or you can click on the, main, uh, the list tab. So either list of ions or the list tab, and they actually take you to the same place. So I'll go to the list tab, and here you see a list of all the ions that you have to memorize for this course um, if you want to get good uh, in chemistry and name these formulas. So if I look for the hypoiodite ion, I look for it, and I actually see it right here, hypoiodite. That is IO minus. So I'll go to exercise one, and type in IO minus, check my answer, and that's the correct answer. Notice that once I click on check answer, the correct way to write the formula appears. So that's my first correct answer, and I would write that in my notebook under the title chemical symbols for ions. So that's one down. You have four to go. You want to get five correct before you go on to the next exercise. So click on next. And this one is this chemical symbol for the ion of iron 3. So transition metals, their charges get written as Roman numerals. So that's pretty easy. This would be Fe plus 3. I'll click check answer. And notice that when I click check answer, it gives you 
the way it actually should be written on a chemistry paper, Fe plus 3. So write that also in your notebook. You want to correspondingly update your notebook as you do this. So once you get five correct, you can promote yourself to exercise two. And exercise two will be chemical names for ions as your heading. And write down your five correct answers after you make sure they are correct through this computer program. So for this one, I would write potassium ion as K plus. Check my answer. And that is correct. Okay, this is actually the potassium ion. Uh, but you can just write potassium. And like that, I need to do four more to get my five correct to move on. Now again, SiO4 minus four, I may not know what that is because I haven't memorized my flashcards. In this case, again, you wanna to refer to the list tab or click on list of ions. They take you to the same place. So SiO4 minus four, there it is. It is the silicate ion. So I can go back to exercise two and write silicate here check my answer, and it is correct. So answer five, update your notebook, and move on to the next exercise. Make sure in your notebook you write the title of the exercise and your five correct answers. So as you answer five correctly and move on from exercise one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 10, you will eventually get done. Now, a couple of words here with regards to these hydrates or hydrates. Um, normally, you would put them as a dot if you write a hydrate, but the way this program answers the hydrates is with an asterisk as opposed to a dot. So for example, manganese three iodide, manganese is MN, a transition metal is a, has a charge that's given by Roman numerals, so that's Mn plus 3. Iodide, if I don't know what it is, I can go back to the list menu. But iodide is I minus. So manganese plus 3, I is minus. You do the switch for ionic compounds. This formula is MnI3. And you have a trihydrate. Tri means 3, so space 3H. O, and you check your answer and notice that's the that's an incorrect answer now what did I do wrong here well I forgot the asterisk so let's do this one more time click on it backspace M N I 3 asterisk 3 H 2 O and I'll check answer and you notice um, the correct way to write Manganese 3 iodide trihydrate is MNI3 dot 3H2O. But like I stated before, in this particular program, you would use the asterisk. Okay, so that's just one thing that you need to be aware of. Let's just do one more here. Vanadium 5 diosulfate tetrahydrate. So vanadium is V. Its charge is plus 5 transition metals have a charge given in Roman numerals. And thiosulfate, what is thiosulfate? Well, I can go back to my list and find out that thiosulfate is S2O3 minus two. So I have the formula here as V, S2O3 minus two, so that's V2 parentheses S2O3 and then that gets a five. Remember for ionic compound, they switch the charges. Asterisk, because it's a hydrate. Tetrahydrate is four H2O. So let's check my answer. And notice that once I click check answer and it says correct, it gives me the answer that it should be written um, in a chemistry exam or in real chemistry. So that's the program once again. Update your notebook correspondingly with the corresponding exercise title. And as a reminder, once you finish five correct answers, move on to the next exercise, all the way till you reach exercise 10. Thank you.